Hey guys, and welcome back to another story time! Yes, I'm back because I have to catch up on Raptor and I'm super duper duper tired. So, if you guys haven't read my webtoon, The Adventure Awaits yet, please go to webtoon right now because it's already available! Yay! Yay! Okay. Anyway, so today I am going to be talking about my experiences with group projects. Now, don't get me wrong, not all group projects are bad, but it's the teammates that's the problem. So, let's start from the very beginning, shall we? My teacher assigned us in groups of I think five or six, can't quite remember, it's quite a while back. And I'm grouped with a bunch of guys. Now, it's not that guys are terrible, it, I'm just saying that because the fact is I'm the only girl. So, yeah. So I'm a little bit annoyed about that, but a project's your project, right? So what they did was they they elected me as leader. You know, I was like, oh cool. And so we sat on the table the first day. I think we have we have like about a month and a bit to do it. So we sat around and we discussed what we're gonna do. I asked them to pitch their ideas, but none of them really had any ideas, so the best one I picked was to do a robot because like out of recyclable items, just imagine all those um plastic bottles and cardboards all put together it just cardboards are really good for making robots so making a robot is a really plus a really good plus time so he, our teacher gave us the dimensions we cut the pieces and we brought everything there and then we began to cut and that's on the second day so I second day of the project so we only have about every time, every week we only get to do it once or twice. So technically a month and a bit, it's only like a, not, not, it's not a lot. So we really had to rush on this. So on our second day when we got all the materials, but I planned down absolutely everything. Like, alright, you do this, you do that, you do that. Like, I give this guy to do, alright. Now you two work together to do two arms. You just need to do the head of the robot. I'll do the torso and you and you two just do the legs. Oh well, yeah. And you just do the legs. And I was like, okay, I got this. So everyone started cutting, everyone started planning, everything was good. On the next time we met up. I got the torso done already. Torso, I got it done pretty quickly. And so, I asked everyone else, Alright, how's the arms going? How's the legs going? How's the head going? And well, they didn't really do anything. Like, my original plan was to use plastic bottles as legs. But apparently it's quite hard for them to get it off scale. And the hands are also quite hard. I asked them to do the hands in cardboard. It's also quite hard. And the head, I don't know why it's not done yet. But it's not. So I was like, okay, okay. Why not all of you guys just work on the two legs. And I'll work on the whole upper body. Sounds fair? So everyone just did their own thing. I do my own thing. I finished the torso and everything and my plan was because in the middle of this like a week before the, the deadline I would have to leave somewhere because I had to go there earlier to so, make like, a school project somewhere overseas if I can recall that properly so I won't be there so I said alright so uh, the legs are not done and it's and we just have to rush everything so I did the whole upper body I'm done like a few days later I did the whole upper body and I said okay I'm done and then I went to them and said alright how's your pieces going they haven't even started their legs the only thing they have done in about two weeks is cut a bottle in half I was like okay we don't have time for this I'm gonna leave I'm not gonna be here to supervise and monitor you guys. So, 
we just have to make this robot floating. We don't have time. We only have like a week before our deadline. So that's what we did. I made the robot floating and everything. So then I asked all the guys. Alright. So when I come, I told all the guys like something like I planned out in my head. So like when we when I come back, we have like one more meet up together and then we're handed in. And that's dead. Deadline. That's our last meeting. And then Saturday's the deadline. Thursday is our last meeting. And so Saturday's the deadline and Saturday at 10.35 a.m. That's the deadline. If I'm not done, then we get a zero. Like a big fat zero out of... I can't remember how much parts. So... So I said, alright, alright, we made the robot floating ready. All we need to do is a base strong enough to support the weight of this robot. Okay, I left, I came back, uh, and then it was our last session, right? Uh, we have one hour for meetup. So what I did was I started assembling the robot and everything. I put my glue, my glue is finishing. I only have like, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes left trying to assemble the game to stick. And once I actually successfully got everything to stick, I was like, alright, base. I just held up my arm, base. Like, throw me on the base. And, well, you kind of can guess what's going on. They didn't do it. So then, obviously, I got pissed. And I said, so what, what have you guys been doing this entire time that I was gone? Because I missed a few meetups. Two or three meet no two meetups. And then the funny thing was that they all said, Oh, we have been discussing things. Discussing like what's happening in what I was thinking was like Discuss what? I just need a base, a square base made out of cardboard. It's not done. So I was so mad. So I just said, Saturday, give me the base. A Saturday, give me the base on Saturday. So on Friday, I did the finishing touches on the robot by painting everything, making everything look cool. It, it, the whole art piece is like a robot rocketing off the space. The arms in a T position, and the torso has enough space to hold pens and pencils and so that it's pretty much like a, a pencil holder which I guess uh, the robot served the purpose so on the last day I asked all right the base and this good news and bad news the good news is I got the base the bad news is well it's just cardboard like cardboard wrapped in colored paper and stuck together with washi tape they don't even bother to it doesn't it look it doesn't even look like they bother to even use glue and make it look presentable they just wrapped it around like wrapping paper and I really thought that when I was gone, like almost the almost like a week, they would have done something productive, and I was pretty disappointed. Despite all of the challenges that I had to face, so I managed to get the best project in the whole class, which I was pretty proud of. Judging by, I did ninety five percent of the work. So I guess that's a good thing. What do you guys think? Leave your suggestions in the comment section below. It doesn't sound right. Leave your replies in the comment section below. I'll make sure to read them and I'll reply to as many comments as I can. And yeah, thank you.
you guys for watching and we'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Thank you.